single target, right? Like, blow up one target, get the train rolling as Kana again. T1, exceedingly strong when it comes to individual picks. If you are able to deny vision with Lux Bindings, Caitlyn Traps, LeBlanc, Viego, you will never be able to walk up. But if D-plus is able to utilize the poke and range and disengage that they have, uh, even Kana, right? We see a lot of aggressive uh, Cassante plays. Here we go. Game two. DK, they would really love to take out one of uh, T1. Or, of course, uh, Genji, that they will be playing on Saturday. But it's really not easy. Uh, KT have an extremely easy strength of schedule at the end of the season. DK have... And you have to not allow them to just play their game. And this is looking like a perfect example of that. Yeah, the poke already coming in as Guma is quite low, but there goes Deft into it. The Q is going to land on the carry as he has to flash, but he is dead. First blood given over to Kellen with the... Here comes Faker down to the bottom side. Going to use this pressure to finally take out the sword. Uh, we might have a skirmish on our hands here. Oh, there's the binding. They catch Canyon as in on the wall comes Showmaker. Too little, too late. As Faker is there, in goes the Q from Owner, who has stolen the lease in. Very happy to steal that. Now he's Ezreal and is looking to poke them down underneath this turret. Faker here as well. And already T1 off to a roaring start. That's okay. We are going to have a back from uh, one of the guys. It looks like Showmaker was there, but Kellen is not long for this world, although kind of burning down oh. Faker just with the flash. And the chains as at least Kellen trades one back, but another kill onto LeBlanc is not what you want to see if you're DK. Yeah, that, that there's no chain. It's a 20 CS lead, a little bit less. You know, Kana will be able to be maybe like 10 CS behind, so that's that's an improvement. Uh, but Zeus is just going to keep farming plates and build a lead for himself. Here is Faker. Uh oh, he is going to get caught and he tries to dash over the rocks. That's not going to work. Owner, though, is so strong right now as he's just going to auto him down. Able to steal that one here as goes for the Heartbreaker now onto Canyon, continuing. And now, even with Kellen here, okay, he actually is going to flash, as I guess he's not sure about where Deft is, but man, this Viego is pretty strong. Well, particularly in these longer skirmishes where you get to stack Conqueror and the continuous healing from Divine Sunderer is, is insane, right? Really good use there from Owner to salvage a situation that was actually really nicely set up by D+. Faker caught off guard. The first trap from Showmaker and Canyon didn't quite work out. This one does, but with Canyon still not being able to make his way towards the Dragon, that is a big win here. If T1 can equalize Drakes, start their Soul Snowball, mm -hmm. is something that, that also is going to make it a lot harder for D+. Might force them into an awkward position down the line. This is actually on Vision, as that controller wasn't denying this. We got a Cloud Soul. Not the first time we've all seen that one. Canyon waiting. Tons of damage on Naguma still. And now on Akaria. So the two of them are just extremely low, but the power of the duo from Faker and Owner is just a bit too much as second chains on the Canyon. But here comes Showmaker, and now Owner is on the run. Doesn't have flash. He's looking to go down, as down he will. Canyon will take him out. Karia on his way out here. Faker just trying to get the kill at the Canyon, and he will, but he gives a kill over to Deft. And DK are able to handle this one. That is big. This might be one of the fights that ends up putting DK in a much better mid-game position because they're, they might be able to get two turrets here, right? Like, and, and D-plus are going to get, what, a single a single He's getting in there. The Heartbreaker on the Kana as he does go unstoppable. Stun lands as the damage is just massive from this Viego. Goes all out under the turret. He's kind of really playing with fire here. Yeah, and... You know, Kana lives. Great job on him. I do think it's really hard to kill Kusante there, but you, you don't care, right? Like, you already got the top lane turret. That's first turret blood. That's going to help you out a ton. And then now they're going to get a second charge here as well. Look at the control they have on the top half of the map. Yeah, nobody they can care answer about that. this dragon. As meanwhile, if that Q landed, Depth might have been in some trouble. <laughs> the poke, pretty insane. And yeah, look. What, what, uh, yeah. Guys? Well, what, what can they do? Like, they can't do anything. They've already diverted all their resources unless they're willing to invest a TP for Showmaker. As all right, Gumi, you're going to have to flash this. Uh-oh, the knockup comes in and down he goes. Which is why DK are so dangerous with this Talia pick. And that is a 
little bit of a mistake that uh, actually equalizes the play a lot more. Because with Guma going down there, and both him and Carrier using their flash, uh, that is a big win for the plus that might create some problems down the line. Almost gets out uh, with his net, but not going to be the case. Showmake. That's going to keep the gold total very even. As oh, Showmaker might be caught off guard here. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, 2v1, we do have a teleport for Kana. As, nope, he's going to be... Oh, what? Okay. A Heartbreaker comes in. Showmaker's still, still on the run. Yeah. And yeah, the sun is going to land. And you can throw as many rocks as you want. The knockup's going to be nice, but uh, the extra movement speed, he is just gone. As Showmaker, don't think he needed more kills, but sure, going to pick up... Or owner, rather, he is yeah. going to pick up his fourth kill. As double TP here. All right, really trying to make this a thing. Onto this turret, straight onto a trap. The poke damage is massive from T1. They do keep the turret alive, but a lot of it seen the BT and the uh, overheal combo be very strong as this is the individual pick they're looking for. Kana look going forward though. He is going to take a massive amount of damage. Even Kana at this point is not tanky enough. As now, very low health bars. The chase is on. Going in. As T1 are hunting their prey. Baker looking for more damage. Flash over the wall. Carrier immediately dies. And his owner is going to follow suit. They go a little bit too far. And the prey strikes back. Oh, big moment there. T1 oversteps Zeus. Hey, that's going to be rocks on the ground here. Zeus in a bit of trouble. As he is not going to elect a flash to make the play. Stunned up for most of it. But do you get the objective, is my question. Canyon's going to start it up here, but Guma is there. He's going to spot this, and yeah, I don't, I don't think they can. The health bars are too low. Showmaker does have his ultimate available here, so should be able to get back very soon. And with this, you see the rest of the plus at the ready, but they don't oh want to give this up. T1 is, is not going to let it go. Yeah, here we go They're again. Unrelenting. Here comes Showmaker as well. He's got his own little global. Has lots of damage, but it's going to reset. Surely you let it go now. On DK, the damage coming in onto Kellen. Down he goes. That's the end of Karma. Deft is all alone. As Kana trying to escort him out, but the flash on in as Zeus again is not messing around. Meganar here as well as down will go Canyon. One by one, the dominoes fall. What do you do? You can't take an objective. Even after T1, make a big mistake. Overstep, lose two members. Baron. On the exit. D plus get poked down, and then they're like, we, we need to get something out of this. We want to try and get the Drake. <laughs> Just leaves your entire health bar. And then Zeus hasn't really made his mark on the series just yet, has been clean, sure, but well. <laughs> has just kind of been there. Well, after that, Sequel had enough. Uh oh. Uh, look, look at that, look at the damage. Like, this is an R, okay? Can't even believe it as they are going to trigger the Mega Nar as down will go the Cloud Drake as Showmaker is just in there in the pit against Owner. He will have to flash out of it eventually as T1 are like, I don't. There's no MR. Yeah. Um, There's no MR. There's also a lack of tenacity. You, know, yep. you get hit by a stun, a, a chain, a Nar, a, a binding. All right, this comp also has some inherent CC this. as T the T1 say, this is our Baron, thank you very much. And Baker's going to find an enemy jungle as Canyon is now dead. Baker will collect the kill. And that's the Baron. Yeah, this is a LeBlanc's playground. Uh, the enemy doesn't have vision, is, is forced to continuously face check into you. Uh, you're fed, there's no MR. The only non-squishy person is Kana. You're like, well, what do I care about the Kasante? Everyone else is food for Faker. Death get picked up now, teleport in. Might very well be the game ending push. We're yeah. looking at a swift and merciless 2-0 here, Valdez. Yeah. Um, between team number one and number two. <laughs> I, hope, um, I hope Spring Finals has more to offer <laughs> than this series, that's all I'll say. As the rocks are on the ground, Kasante goes all out, Kana just giving it one last go. As down will fall, the inhibitors. Guma now just trying to style, as you do. Down go two inhibitors, and T1 will take the same play. Noxious to play into. Like, look at this. An owner. <laughs> I love his positioning, too, where he's in your base. <laughs> They're like, well, we can't really do anything about that because, you know, he's quite fed. Now, they did chunk him down, but he's got GA and a, a Hex Reaper at this point. So the Siege is on. The Baron's still here for 30 more seconds. As they threaten mid, they push in that wave, and then the last tower here will fall at the inhibitor. Baker always looking for the angles. They have the trap set, so they can't really be engaged upon. 
Free inhibitors, that's lights out. Turret falls, just to the pressure of Zeus. So uh, one by one, the dominoes fall once again. Zeus is almost on the fountain. I mean, he, he will not be denied, he says. That's okay, lots of damage into the GA Viego. Has, he won't even die. He's just healing up with the Divine Sunder and finally, no, they're not even gonna get him. Down go all the champions here on the side of DK as T1 will smash them tonight like a Mega Nar in a swift 2-0. Even Faker with a cheeky grin there. That doesn't happen often, but how else are you going to feel when one of your direct competitors, one of the teams that's supposed to stand up,